The former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg in Las Vegas for a private luncheon today. He's celebrating the passing of a controversial gun background check bill that makes background checks mandatory for private gun sales. New at 6, our Gabby Hart joins us live from the World Market Center with what Bloomberg had to say about that bill. Gabby. Well, Governor Sisolak signed Senate Bill 143 into law about two weeks ago, but it was met with opposition from many Nevadans. Today, Michael Bloomberg stood up for that bill, saying, like it or not, it's a bill that will protect every American. Former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg stopped in Las Vegas Tuesday afternoon to celebrate the passing of Senate Bill 143. People with psychiatric problems, people with criminal records, and minors should not be allowed to buy guns. The newly passed legislation aims to close the so-called gun show loophole by making background checks on private gun sales mandatory. We're all Americans and we're all human beings. Shouldn't we have compassion and try to protect all of each other? Members of every town for gun safety and Moms Demand Action joined Bloomberg for a private luncheon in celebration of the new law. I am so happy to be here today with everyone to celebrate the passage of Senate Bill 143, which makes Nevada the 20th state. The passage of Senate Bill 143 wasn't a win for all Nevadans. Hundreds of residents lined up during the joint session to make a decision on the bill, some arguing the bill is poorly written and the new law would be hard to enforce and do little to actually stop gun violence. But there's nothing in here that would help uh, get the bad guys. We don't get the criminals. We, uh, it's, it's a bunch of regulations to hinder law-abiding citizens. They're the ones that we're going to try to comply. But Bloomberg says in this case, he feels it's better to have a safety net in place than nothing at all. If you stop some of them, you'd be better off than if you stopped none. Well, Senate Bill 143 is set to take effect uh, come January 2020, and it'll be up to the Nevada Department of Public Safety to enforce those background checks and make sure they're getting done. I'm reporting live from downtown Las Vegas. Gabby Hart, Jim, back to you. All right, Gabby, thank you. Tonight